Let's check out a new scenario. To check that, user logon fails on entering invalid username and password. The first four steps will remain the same. That is, open flight reservation application, enter agent name, enter password, click OK. The difference would be, step number five, click OK to close the error information dialog box. Step number six, close the logon dialog box. Since the steps one to four remain the same, we can reuse the script we had recorded earlier. In QTP, we delete all steps after step number four and save the script as say login negative. Step number five is click OK to close the error information dialog box. To generate this dialog box, click OK button in flight reservation without entering the username and password. Error information dialog box appears. In QTP, click the record button and click OK on the error information dialog box. Step number five is recorded. Step number six is to click cancel to close the flight reservation dialog box. Stop recording. Do away with the garbage steps. The six steps are recorded to test this scenario. The different combinations of invalid test data for this scenario would be agent name less than four characters and valid password, no agent name and valid password, valid agent name and no password altogether, valid agent name and password less than four characters, valid agent name and password other than Mercury. As a part of test results, you may require pass and fail status and the error information message generated. Since for different combinations of invalid agent name and passwords, different error messages would be generated and it would be handy to capture the information messages for easy reference. This can be done by adding an extra step. Store the error information message before the close error information and dialog box steps. Checkpoints were covered earlier and we will focus on just output values in this tutorial. Output value. An output value is a step in which one or more values are captured at a specific point in your test and stored for the duration of the run session. The values can be later used as an input at a different point in the run session. The various types of output values are standard output value, text text area output value, database output value, XML output value. Steps to create an output value and checkpoints are very, very similar. And for sake of simplicity, we will demonstrate only standard output value. Standard output value. It can be used on an object to output value of its property. Multiple properties of an object can be selected for output. Let's record the output value in QTP. Select step number five. In the active screen, right click, select insert output value. The object selection properties dialog box opens. Select the object in question, click OK. The output value properties dialog box open. QTP will assign a default name to the output value. You may give it a preferred name, say, error message. You can select the property text whose value will be taken as output. You can modify the default column name where the error messages would be stored. Click OK. 
an output value step is created at step number five. In the data table, a column error message is created where the output will be stored. Let's enter the invalid data sets. Once done, let's run the script. You can see in the QDP data table, error messages are stored. Once a run is complete, error messages stored in the data variable will be cleared and can be accessed using the runtime data table.